All right, guys, extremely late in the year as far as fishing goes. We're right on the cusp of ice fishing, literally in the part of the world that we live in. My buddy Chris Riley and I are out. We're gonna chase smallmouth today. This is classic winter hole, deep fish set up on big boulders, and this is where they're gonna spend their entire winter. Low water temps, we're right around that 40 degree mark. That cold water is gonna force us to fish deep and then slow, pretty vertical. So I'm pretty optimistic. What we have this week, which um, in after doing this for several years, that I've learned is like warm ups real late produce uh, well, the fish just get activated and I don't know what it is, but nature nature gets real active on these late season warm ups. So we don't winterize the boat until we actually have ice because we like the opportunity to slip out on the water to capitalize on these super late bite windows. And actually right now, I'm marking some good rocks and side imaging, but that's what we're looking for. Big chunky boulders like that. And you'll drive through these areas and I can look at down imaging and 2D sonar and I'm not seeing fish. I'm not seeing fish because the fish are in the rocks. So you often need to actually come, come to these areas when you find something juicy like that, you gotta fish it. And that's why I like baits that are really efficient. A blade bait rockets to the bottom and you, you can check these spots pretty quick without wasting a lot of time. Then you can come back and feather in a Ned Rig, fish slower, do different things, but um, that's what we're looking for. We're gonna pull up on this spot and see if we can connect with some big smallmouth. There's a fish. That didn't take too long. First cast. And boom. We're downwind on the spot. You can notice that's that's the best for boat positioning for the two technologies I'm using right now. I got 360 and mega live down and that's a nice starter fish on the blade bait and net net is pretty smart this time of the year there you can see that bait there it's got it right in the lip first cast i missed one and then i'm guessing there's multiple fish down there that's pretty typical this time of year like like hundreds of fish consolidated in a pretty small area yeah, we'll get them a lot bigger than this too. I'm optimistic. That's a new one by Rapla actually. Rip and blade, it's been a good one for us. And what I mean by good is one that doesn't foul a whole lot. Biggest problem I have with blade baits is you'll get like that rear treble hook flip up over, the, over the line like that. And this one just hasn't had that problem and I don't know why, I think it's, you know, the length of the bait is right and then however it's weighted, so. But it sinks fast and gets bit. One thing you'll notice, or the commonality between all of the baits that we have rigged right now is that they're heavy. We're fishing in, this spot tops off about 20 to 25 feet of water, which isn't extremely deep. These fish, I don't get barrel trauma with these fish when I let them go, so that's an important point. We don't like targeting fish that don't release well these fish do but it's deep enough where and being that all the fish are on the bottom you want to get your bait to the bottom quickly and when it's cold when it's late season like this a heavy bait makes it easier to, to maintain contact with that bait and then feel bites a blade bait i would say is probably the easiest it has such a strong pull when you pull it up it sinks very fast and those things, those attributes make it easy to fish. Cast it out there, let it sink to the bottom quickly. I could have a big jacket on, gloves. I can st still feel that bait. I can feel the bites. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm fishing this blade bait on casting gear. Spinning is the most common, but I like a tuned casting setup, like a medium light jerk bait style rod with like 12 pound fluorocarbon. I'm going easy with bolt control. Instead of getting right up on the spot, I like to start, in this case, here's the high spot. I've spot locked off of it because our wind is coming from that direction. We're casting into the wind and spot lock, fan cast the area, catch fish, and then just make incremental moves around on the spot. This spot that we're fishing is about the size of a gymnasium. I mean, it's pretty small and there's, you know, I don't know, a couple hundred fish here probably. So we're gonna just fish real methodically make little mini moves on the spot. 
that's the one thing too with smallmouth. We'd have we'd be hard pressed to go get on a good largemouth bite today with water temps down around 40. And northern strain largemouth, but the smallmouth will cooperate, you know, right down into the 30s. We have went out and made some content and caught them through the ice, but it's difficult. They they kind of go dormant. What's really interesting behavior-wise is they'll actually rest on the bottom, set their fins down and just sit on top of the mud. But right now they're still they're still fairly supercharged and actively feeding at 40. Fish on? Fish on. a boy. Oh, fish on doubles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ned and blade. It's fun. You can take different approaches to these late fall fish. Mine's a little guppy. Nice one, Chris. I got a blade bait on. Chris has a Ned rig. And that's kind of fun, just two-pronging it, trying different presentations. And you'll definitely see that there's clear winners. But on some days, it just doesn't even matter. Yeah, it's definitely a power fishing in cold water lure. And a typical cast for me is, you know, make a nice little cast out to where the fish are at. And then I let it fall on semi-slack. Straight fluoro is great. If, if we were below freezing, fluorocarbon doesn't absorb water. So it has, it has decent properties when it's freezing out or in real cold water situations. Um, and then some stretch, you know, when you're fishing a treble hook bait, no different than crank baits or jerk baits, whatever. It's nice to have, have some stretch. And then I just start hop, hopping it across the bottom like that. Lift, fall, lift, fall. And like Chris said, tons of feedback. You feel the you feel the bait. And usually you let it fall and that bite usually will happen on the fall. And when you lift up again, they're usually just on. So it's it's really easy. There you go, girl. Kind of blond blondies in this cold water. These fish can be really brown out here, but in the water temp drop slow like this they kind of take on more of a blonde hue there we go got her they're eating it good i mean really good hooking percentages pretty fish and again i mean look at that look at the girth they're healthy right now. yeah i mean this is a time of year to get a personal vest i mean pre-spawn obviously but late late fall like this and then sheer numbers of fish because they're more consolidated than they're gonna be at any other time of the year. Great fish. And this isn't a forward facing game. Sure, you can use it um, if you have it, but cast the blade bait out and just start ripping it across the bottom. You can cover quite a bit of water with it and you're not gonna see a lot of those fish. Quite frankly, I like the 360 knowing that I'm casting to the hard spots which here show up as a brighter color. And that's helpful to see the rocks, knowing that I'm casting to the right cover elements on the bottom. Not all lakes, uh, you know, require you to have rock. It just depends on what, on the body of water you're on. Sometimes they're on sand, but on this, on this lake, which has a lot of sand and marl, the boulders um, are a magnet for them. Other lakes in our area, they're on sand or sand grass, deep rock, uh, deep sand, deep sand grass, that kind of thing. So you just gotta go fish these spots. Ooh, come on girl, get it. Got him, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Little video gaming, yeah. That's cool. I mean, it's still pretty darn active, willing to come up that high off the bottom at 40 degrees. Ooh, that's a, that's a decent one. Annette is not dumb this time of year. Oh man, huh? Oh man, look at that. Look at how big this fish is. Biggest, is, biggest they're gonna be outside of the pre-spawn this time of year. I mean, have been, has been feeding up heavily all summer long into the fall months. There we go. Ooh, huh? Look at that girl. Beautiful fish. Look at that. I mean, that's a portly smallmouth. Yeah. 